So we have a layout here. We have an edit text. We have a button stream and we have a button plane background. So these two components will not be used. Uh, this is for another tutorial that we have that I had made to show you how you can play audio from a URL. But right now we will just be using this button. So we can even remove these buttons. So yeah, we just have a plain background button. So what this will play on click is I have a file here. I have a file in our raw folder. So I'll be playing this audio when we click on this button. All right. So let's check what this audio is. All right, let's not check it. I have not registered how to play this anyway. So we'll be playing that audio on this button click. Click. So first of all, we have an empty right in here. Okay, let me just remove this also. This is also for the media streaming part. If you want, you can uh, check out that tutorial also. It will probably be in recommendation or I'll just have the link in description. So all right, now we have cleaned this. We have only a button here. So first of all, we have just set the content view of this of this layout so we'll be seeing that and then on button play we just check if the audio is already playing if it is already playing we stop the service that plays the audio <coughs> else we start playing audio using this background music service all right so yeah that's why we are using this boolean so we just check if the audio is already playing using this boolean if it is we stop it if it is not we start it so that means if we click this once, medium uh, audio will be playing. If we click this again, audio will be stopped. All right. So as you can see, we have not done any playing part here. We are just stopping and starting the service. So that means we will be handling all the playing part inside our service. All right. So let's see what's going on in the service. In the service, as you can see, we have pretty much everything is very simple. We just have a media player and we just have this. This is default. If we don't have this, there will be an error. So you have to override this on bind method, but I'm doing nothing. It's just default. And then there is, we override the on start command. We override the on stop co service command and we override on destroy command, on destroy method or um, my bad. <laughs> All these are not commands, just methods, functions. So what we do is whenever we start service, what happens is on start command is called. So we need to play audio our audio that is here in our start command. All right. So what we do is first we just say started playing and then we initialize the media player using the sample audio, r.draw.sample audio, right? So this is the path of our audio. So if you don't have this, as you can see here, we, have, we can have a URI or interest ID. If instead if you have uh, the media in somewhere in a folder, you can pass the URI here, or I have it in my resources. So just I I just pass the resource ID. All right. So our mini media player is initialized using this audio, and we just start the media player, and then we just return on start command. So this is uh, pretty basic stuff. And in on stop service, we just stop it, and and on destroy we just stop and release and set the media player to null this is all the sir uh, this is all the service is doing uh, all the playing part is here and even all the stopping part is handled here because we just stop the service here when on on stop we are just not doing anything here uh, but when the service is destroyed we just stop and release the media player but we call the stop service from here all right so we don't directly call media player stop when the button is pressed we just do stop service when the button is pressed and the rest is handled inside the service and if you want to play the media we just start the service and the rest is handled inside the service all right one more very important thing now we've created the service we have used the service here but we also need to define the service in manifest otherwise you will not be able to play it your service will not be working you will never reach inside this function so we just create the service tag, right? The service tag, and we just set the name to background music services dot background music service. Uh, I have the dot services here because my service is inside this services folder. If your service is here, let's say if your service is uh, uh, service test, you don't need to do anything. You just 
you just write service here all right service test here but right now since this is not a service since i have not extended service you don't get an option to do that in our manifest so that's why I'm doing services or background service because it's inside the services package. If you have it outside like here, you can just write the name of the service without any package name. All right. So this is it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.